Welcome to REO. My name is Paul Kelly. I'm president of Research Electro Optics. REO has been in business for over 30 years, uh, and we are a global leader uh, in the manufacture of uh, optical solutions for customers throughout the world. What we're going to see today is we're going to feature three parts of our process. We're going to talk about fabrication of optics. We're going to talk about coating of optics, and then the integration of those coated optics into assemblies. So we'll show you those three parts of our process today. The process starts with us purchasing material, typically glass, uh, from a group of global material suppliers, manufacturers. We buy that in various shapes and we bring that material into our factory and that begins the process of preparing a surface that will subsequently be coated. These surface finishes are typically specified by our customers um, and one of the reasons that they come to research electro optics is we have some of the best capabilities in the world um, as far as preparing uh, surfaces for customers. So every day we are generating surfaces that are down to two tenths of an angstrom um, which is among the best in the world. Um, those kinds of, that kind of surface preparation um, is tied to the super polish capability that we've developed over the last 20 years uh, and really what that does for customers and the great value that that super polish capability brings is to minimize stray light. That high quality surface finish becomes very important when we then take those components in to be coated. Um, because any defects um, that uh, are on that surface, of course, get carried with them into the coating process and can cause coating imperfections. So it's extremely important at the front end of the process, we do the best job we possibly can to get that surface as perfect as we possibly can. So once we have prepared the surfaces, ground and polished them and done the appropriate metrology to ensure that we're meeting the specifications um, that customers require. We then take um, those optics and we prepare them for coating and that's what we see going on um, behind me. Um, REO uh, is the global leader in IBS, ion beam um, sputtering coating. Uh, so of the 35 chambers, coating chambers that we have in the building, uh, 23 of those are IBS. Uh, and what IBS delivers and the reason that our customers typically come to us is uh, as a result of the uh, coating that you get from IBS, the density of the coating, uh, it makes it uh, immune uh, from environmental um, factors and also uh, gives you a very dense surface uh, that positions the customer very well if they have concerns about laser damage threshold um, issues. So that has really been the area of expertise um, that uh, REO has built its reputation and its business on. You combine the super polished capabilities we have with the IBS coating expertise we have and that really provides a differentiated product for customers that they place a high value on. So what we have behind us is an ISO 5 class 100 clean room where we take those differentiated optics and integrate them into higher level assemblies. This has come as a result of the communication that we've had with customers and the regular surveying process that we do with customers where they have expressed interest in not just buying those differentiated loose optics, but making sure that we um, tie them into uh, the assemblies that they are subsequently going to use in their products. This is the fastest growing part of our business. Um, the capability that we have here, we have some unique bonding um, capability, um, we have some uh, unique alignment capabilities, and certainly the metrology that's required uh, in order to ensure proper alignment has really resonated with customers and this assembly uh, part of our business is really the engine of growth for us as we go forward. Optics are pervasive throughout our lives. 
we have contributed um, optics um, to uh, assemblies that have landed on Mars. Um, we uh, have contributed optics that are integral part of the um, NIF, the National Ignition uh, Facility um, out in California and Livermore. Uh, it's, it's a very exciting industry uh, and we are doing everything we can from a technology point of view um, to stay on the leading edge of that um, and make sure that we're in a position to respond to the ever increasing demands um, and tough technological requirements from our customers. To enable that to happen, um, there's a very important um, issue that we are addressing from a workforce point of view. So actually we are working with the optics community here in Boulder as well as nationally uh, to put together an apprenticeship program. We're working with the local community colleges um, to ensure that the supply of opticians into the future um, is our responsibility that we are taking responsibility and accountability for developing that next generation of opticians. Um, we have an aging population here. It's extremely important that we invest in the future generation. Um, so we are very actively taking a, a proactive leadership role um, in uh, trying to ensure that that next generation of opticians is going to be available to serve our customers.